I'm gonna show you guys how I made this custom ketchup type and we're going to actually take real ketchup, scan it into the computer. I'm joking, it's AI, of course. Come on guys, we're living in the the new world, right? Back in the day, you would have to get real ketchup out of the fridge. And unless you're somebody that does hand lettering or custom calligraphy, then you probably wouldn't be able to do this that well, honestly. I mean, if I did this, it would look terrible. It'd look like a, a first grader did it, right? AI is making it easy for me to create something like this, whereas before, this would be almost impossible. I might have to hire somebody else to do the job for me. So there's that. You can also just get good, right? But anyway, let's dive into it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. Let's go. I started off in Adobe Illustrator with a script font, and this one is called Birds of Paradise. You can find this on dafont.com or dafont.com, however you wanna say it. And this one's really nice because it has a lot of flow to it. And if I were to use Ketchup to create type, I would definitely probably do something like this, right? So uh, you could pick any font you want, but I just thought this flowed very nicely for the condiment if you will once you have your type you just want to save it as a png or you can take a screenshot whatever works for you and then we're going to head over to firefly.adobe and you're going to be presented with this screen once you log in of course and i'm just going to type out realistic ketchup spill isolated on white background that's pretty much it simple and then let's click generate and it's going to work its magic, of course. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get four different images that you can choose from, and we're gonna save one of them. Pick your favorite one. Now, I really like the one on the right, but I think the one on the left's going to work, so let's click Download. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see something called Structure, and this is where we upload our PNG image that we just saved from Adobe Illustrator. And what it's doing is it's telling Adobe Firefly, look, this is the structure or the shape that I want my AI-generated image to be in. So let's go ahead and upload that. And we wanna make sure that strength is all the way at 100%. So it was at 50% before. And I just wanna click and drag that ketchup photo over to the visual intensity reference here. Now we just basically wanna keep everything middle. So 50%, so visual intensity, 50%, strength, 50%. You can always play with them if you want. Everything else stays default. We're just going to click generate at the bottom right. Sometimes if your dimensions aren't tall enough, you'll see like mixed results. So. If it's not tall enough, just go back to Illustrator and basically create more room around your text, which as you can see, that's kind of what's happening with mine. We're gonna try a few things here. There you go. Try this one out and see if that fixes the problem. And this is what I landed on. So try resizing the screenshot, you know, just, you know, crop more, crop less, try different things and you should get the same results as me. So yeah, I mean, this looks really good. Like, look at this one. This looks realistic to me. If I wanted to now, I can actually add a filter gallery effect or something, and you could do some really cool stuff. Like, check this out. Already, this is looking pretty cool. All right, so final thoughts on AI. I believe that it's just a design tool, a design resource for us, or for any creative for that matter, to enhance our workflow. That's it. You guys should never, let AI take over your identity and just make you a lazy creative. That's not the goal here, right? The goal is to use it as a tool, as you should, to, like I said, enhance your current skill that you already have, okay? Like for me, I've been designing for over 10 years now. I already have the skill, so I don't need to prove anything. This really just enhances my current workflow. That's simply it. And it's no different than any other tool, such as Envato Elements, Unsplash.com, any design resource or creative resource website you can find, it's the same stuff, guys, okay? But um, I say use it, enjoy it, let it enhance your workflow, but don't let it take over. That's all I gotta say. My name's Charlie Pangus. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.